Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. It's time that I do a full review on this Perea Outdoor Products Thermo Down 15 degree quilt. Now I've had enough nights in this quilt to be able to say that it is one of the best sleeping bags that I've ever owned. I am so, so pleased with the quality and the performance of this bag that it's become one of my favorite bags. One of the things that I wish that Perea would do is a 30 degree version of this. Sometimes, especially in the summer months, like what we're experiencing right now, it's a little too warm. But there's a feature here at the bottom that I want to show you that has helped me to be able to use this as a four season bag especially as a 15 degree bag in the summer, which would normally be way too hot for me. But because it's a quilt, it works really, really well. So what you've got here is a 20D ripstop nylon here on the outer shell. It's really soft, beautiful, beautiful material. And then on the inside of the bag, they're using a 320T polyester pongee. Really soft to the touch, and it's a really burly, nice, good uh, quality material. Since we're looking here at the top of the bag, let's go ahead and, and talk about uh, one of the benefits of the quilt. So they have created this drawstring uh, piece at the top that allows you to pull this tight to come around your shoulders just to create less draft points. Now, if it was a lot warmer, then I'm going to pull that back a little bit and almost use this more like a blanket instead of a sleeping bag. Just to dive into this real quick, Quilts allow you to be a lot more versatile in your sleeping system. And especially when you uh, pair this with a inflatable pad, like a two inch, like Thermarest, or even the Paris Outdoor Products Recharge pads, then you've got the ability to be way more versatile with this. And these do have little clips here on the bag that uh, have pad straps that come with the quilt that allow you to strap this quilt to the pad so that the quilt stays on the pad and you don't fall off of the pad. But using that um, sleeping pad as your insulation on your back is a really, really beneficial way to just have, like I said, more versatility in your sleep system, stay nice and warm, and you can use different types of sleeping pads with a quilt so that you're getting different types of warmth that you would want. If you need an insulated pad with a four or higher R value, then you can use that and you're gonna get really, really warm results. You could use a two or less R value, which is uh, available on the market, then you're gonna have a little bit colder nights. So you've got the ability with the quilt to adjust how your sleep system is going to function. Now this bag is 78 inches, or this quilt I should say, 78 inches long. So about six foot, five inches plenty tall for me. I'm five foot nine and I don't experience any kind of uh, struggles with trying to keep my head warm or if I need to dive under the bag to, to keep my head a little bit more warm uh, because I don't have a hood, then I've got the ability to do that. So plenty long for somebody my size, five foot nine, even up to six foot. Uh, over six foot, it might be a little bit short. Currently, to my knowledge, Perea does not have a long version of this quilt that might be available uh, in the future, but currently that's not the case. Let's go ahead and flip the quilt over before we dive into the foot box. So you can see here a really wide opening, and that is, again, a benefit of a quilt. So I've got the ability as I lay down to just like fold the quilt over top of me. Uh, easy to get in and out of. There's no zipper to be able to come up around your shoulders. It does have a zipper here on the foot box, which I'll talk about a little bit more here in a second. The baffle system on the quilt is done really well. They're horizontal uh, baffles and they're sewn really well and the insulation is kept within those baffles really nice. Super comfortable. The loft is really, really nice on this quilt. They do give you the option with this Again, one of the uh, nice things about a quilt that just gives you more versatility, there are these snaps where you would normally uh, clip your pad straps to that allow you to, if this was flipped over the other way, kind of use it as a traditional style mummy bag. Great, great benefit because it just allows you to close up those draft points 
and keep you a lot warmer and achieve more of that 15 degree uh, low comfort level or uh, temperature that you would want from a bag like this. Now I have slept in nights that got down to about 30 degrees and I was almost sweating in this and I didn't have it closed up like this. So if you're really looking for something that will go down to a really low temperature, give you a lot of options to stay warm, then this is gonna be a good option. And then just wear like a beanie or something to keep your head warm if you don't wanna to try to tuck underneath. But I love the comfort of a quilt. I love how this makes me feel like I am sleeping at home. Even when I've got the foot box, which we'll show you the foot box now, even when I've got the foot box zipped up like a sleeping bag, I still feel like I'm sleeping at home in my own bed. And that has been such a cool, cool thing about this quilt. It does have another snap closure right here, but there is a zipper on the foot box that allows you to uh, open this up as a full like down blanket. And you could use it that way. Or if you wanna stay a lot warmer, then you obviously would zip this up. So. Uh, brands like Enlightened Equipment that have quilts very similar to this and other brands as well, they will sew the foot box together. Uh, you can get zippers, you can customize quilts uh, like everything else, but I really like the zipper aspect of this. This is one of the like comfort things for me and it's kind of a negative because when I am sleeping, I don't like the... Uh, zipper rubbing against my legs and stuff and I've noticed that I tried to avoid that when I'm sleeping and it, It's kind of frustrating. So it's not really a big negative But I don't like the fact that the zipper doesn't have any kind of like cover like a draft Cover over it and I would say that if I would change anything about it I would add a little piece of fabric here that you see in a lot of sleeping bags where along the zipper There is a small baffle of insulation that covers the zipper as kind of a draft And I would like to see something like that just for comfort purely to Because it is on the bottom of the bag to cover the zipper so that my leg isn't uh, rubbing across the zipper because I've had hair from my legs get caught in the zipper and pull. So that's just something that you find out from, from using the bag. And uh, so if my one piece of feedback for Perea, that would be it. Add that little baffle on there to cover the zipper so it's just a little more comfortable. Here on the bottom of the bag, on the foot box, you do have these uh, elastic pieces here. And what these allow you to do is extend the foot box out. So again, if you unzip this all the way, then I have the ability to pull these out and I've got a big wide open foot box. And then if I unzip it, I can have that big full blanket. This allows me to regulate temperature really easy. So if it's not a super cold night and I want to have a little bit of draft around my feet or to be able to have the option to stick my feet out, I can do that. Now I've seen this type of system or a similar type of idea in other uh, quilts like the Sierra Designs uh, quilt that allows you to, there's like a little pocket right here that covers and you can just like feed your feet out and then uh, you've got the ability to uh, stick your feet out for temp temperature regulation. I like this a lot because this just gives a lot more versatility to the quilt in general. So really cool option there. It's really easy to manipulate and it gets down into a really, really tight uh, box. Now I have noticed that it is not super tight on my feet, but it is a little bit different type of foot box than you would get from your standard uh, mummy bag that you would expect. So because it, it is coming down on a really tight cinch, but it doesn't, it's not uncomfortable uh, for me in any way and my feet don't feel tight in that. So anyway, guys, Super happy with this quilt. It's one of the best, best pieces of uh, sleeping gear that I've ever used, and I definitely recommend it. They don't have a long version like I mentioned before, but hopefully they'll come out with something like that soon. And quilts are something that I am totally converted to, and I'm so happy with this product and uh, definitely check it out. So there you go, guys. That is the Perea Outdoor Products Thermo Down 15 Degree Quilt. This has a 700 fill down in it. 
really cool product super happy with it in the several nights that i've had out on the trail with it so thanks for watching guys please subscribe to the channel if you haven't hope you have an awesome day